Hi everyone, I am Eng Sanjay. Welcome to Configure Security Policy to Manage Data, Azure Security Series video number 14. Who am I? I am Eng Sanjay. You can tweet me at my Twitter and you can look for more about Azure Security uh, uh, hands on lab at techconnect.io. Okay, let's Let's start with today's topic, Configure Data Classification. Data classification enables organization to find storage optimization, optimization that might not be possible when all data is assigned the same value. Classifying stored data by sensitivity and business impact help organization determine the risk associated with the data. After data has been classified, organizations can manage their data in a way that reflect their internal value instead of tracking all data the same way. Data, classif data classification can yield benefits such as compliance, uh, efficiency, improved way to manage the organization resources, and facility facilitation of migration to the cloud. Some data protection solutions such as encryption, write management and data loss prevention have moved to the cloud and can help mitigate cloud risk. However, organizations must be sure to address data classification rules for data retention when moving to the cloud. It is important to note that classification applies regardless of data set and data format and data set. Data discovery and classification is part of the one data security offering. It is a unified package for advanced Microsoft SQL Server security capability. It allows assessing and managing data discovery and classification via the central SQL Advanced Data Security Portal. Data discovery and classification introduce a set of advanced service and SQL capability, forming a SQL Information Protection Premium M and protecting the data, not just the database. The capability can be put in the several category. The first of them involves Discovery and recommendation. The classification engine scan a database and identify column containing potential sensitivity data. It then provides an easier way to review and apply the appropriate classification, classification recommendation via the Azure portal. The second one concerns labeling. Sensitivity classification label can be persistently tagged on column using new classification metadata attribute introduced into the SQL Server Engine. This metadata can then be utilized for advanced sensitivity-based auditing and protection scenario. The third one applying to query result set sensitivity. The sensitivity of the query result set is calculated in real time for auditing purpose. The last category deals with visibility. It allows viewing the database classification state in a detailed dashboard in the Azure portal. Additionally, it provides the ability to download a report that can, use, can be used for compliance and auditing purposes. Configure data retention. Data recovery and disposal. Like data reclassification is an essential aspect of managing data access. The principles for data recovery and disposal are defined by a data retention policy and enforced in the same manner as data reclassification. These tasks are typically performed by the customer and administrator roles are as a collaborative task. Failure to maintain data retention policy could 
means data loss or failure to comply with regulatory and legal risk and legal discovery requirement. Most organizations that do not have a clearly defined data retention policy tend to use a default keep everything retention policy. However, this poses additional risk in cloud service scenario. For example, a data retention policy for cloud service provider can be considered as for the duration of the subscription, meaning as long as the service is paid for, the data is retained. Such a, such a pay for retention agreement might not address corporate or regulatory retention policy. A data retention policy should address the required regulatory and compliance requirement and corporate legal retention requirement. Classified data might provoke question about retention, duration, and exception for data that has been stored via a provider. Although such questions most likely pertain to data that has not been classified correctly, data classification rules that pertain to data retention must be addressed when moving to the cloud and that cloud solution can help mitigate risk. Some data protection technologies such as encryption right management and data loss prevention solution can help mitigate cloud risk. Immutable storage is available in Azure in the form that leverage Azure block storage. It allows for block to be created and read but not modified or delete for the duration of the retention interval. The immutable, immutable storage provides support for a number of important features. The first of these features is time-based retention policy support. It allows users to set policy to store data for a specific interval. The second feature is legal hold policy support. When the retention interval is not known, user can set legal hold to store data immutable until the legal hold is cleared. When a Legal hole is set, block can be created and read, but not modified or delete. Each legal hole is associated with a user defined offer demerit that, that is used as an identified string size case ID. The next features is support for all block there. One policy by independent of the Azure block story here and apply to all the hot, cool, and achieve. User can transition data to the most of course of the media for their workload while maintaining data immutability. Another feature is container level configuration. User can configure time-based retention policy and legal hold that at the container level. By using simple container level setting, user can create an um, Lock time based retention policy. Extend retention into a set and clear legal hold. And more. This policy apply all to all blocks in the container, both existing and new. Last but not least, there is support for audit law team. Each container include the include an audit law, which display up to five time based retention command for lock time based retention policy. The audit log is written for the lifetime of the container. The Azure activity logs show comprehensive log of all control plan activity. It is the user responsibility to store those logs persistently as might be required for regulatory for or, or other purposes. Configure data Sovereignty. Data sovereignty in the concept that information which has been converted and stored by in binary digital form is subject to the law of the country in which it is located. Many of 
the current concern that surround data sovereignty relate to enforcing privacy regulation and preventing data that is stored in a foreign country from being sub open by the host country government. The principle of a reason pairing and you operate in multiple geographical around the world and Azure Geography is a defined area of the world that contains at least one Azure region and Azure region is an area within a geography containing one or more data center each Azure region is paired with another region within the same geography forming a regional pay, regional pair the exception is budget shell which is paired with a region outside its geography. Across the region pair, a serialized platform update so that only one pair region is updated at a time. In the event an upstage up affecting multiple regions, one region in each pair will be prioritized for recovery. <laughs> Benefit of pair region. The first, the first benefit is physical isolation. When possible, Azure service prefer at least 300 miles of separation between data centers in the regional pack. Physical data center separation reduces the likelihood of all regions being affected simultaneously as a result of natural disasters, civil unrest, power outage, or physical network outage. Isolation is subject to constraint with the, within the geography, such so as geography size, power, and network infrastructure availability and regulation. The second benefit is platform provided reputation. Some services such as job redundant storage provide automatic, automatic replication to pair reason. The third benefit to region recovery order. In the event of a broad upstage, recovery of one region is prioritized up of every pack. Applications that are deployed across pair region are guaranteed to have one of the region recover with priority. If an application is deployed across region that not pair, recovery might be delayed. If in the worst case, the chosen reason might be the last two to be recovered. The fourth benefit is a shared with sequential update plan and system update are rolled up to pair regions sequentially, not at the same time. This help minimize downtime, the effect of bug and logical failure in the rare event of a bad update. The last one is data residency. To meet data residency, residency requirements of tax and law enforcement jurisdiction property, a reason resides with the same geography as the pair with the assertion of budget sub. Okay, that's all for this video uh, 40. If you've got any question, you can Take me on my Twitter and you can refer to left.to slash Jameson for today for this video uh, popping. That's all for today. Thank you.